Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump is calling for a ban on all Muslims entering the U.S. It is the latest in a string of incendiary remarks from the candidate. KCAL 9's political reporter Dave Bryan is live outside the Islamic Center of Northridge tonight with more on this story. Dave, good evening. Hi, good evening, Jeff. We're outside, as you said, the Islamic Center of Northridge, where the reaction tonight was shock and outrage at the latest comments from presidential candidate Donald Trump. Thank you very much, South Carolina. At a campaign rally in South Carolina, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump was cheered when he read a campaign statement announcing that, as president, he would ban all Muslims from entering the U.S. until the safety of Americans can be protected from terrorists. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Trump ridiculed the current administration as weak and ineffective and declared as president he would change all that, starting with a ban on Muslims entering the country. We can be weak, we can be ineffective, we can be foolish. Folks, those days are over. Those days are over. We have to be tough, we have to be smart, we have to be vigilant. Yes, we have to look at mosques, and we have to respect mosques. But yes, we have to look at mosques. We have no choice. We have to see what's happening. Because something is happening in there. Man, there's anger. The Muslim community in Southern California has reacted with shock and disbelief. The head of CARE LA, a Muslim rights group, compared Trump's proposed ban on Muslims trying to enter the U.S. to Nazi Germany in World War II. Just when you think Donald Trump cannot outdo his bigotry, and he gets to surprise us again. Uh, certainly this time he has apparently officially uh, embraced fascism and Nazism. Uh, just think about replacing the word Muslims with the word Jews or any other community and um, announcing as a presidential candidate that he is going to ban Jews from entering the U.S., for example. Imagine the outrage we will be getting. And at the Islamic Center of Northridge, several members of the mosque also had strong reactions to Trump's proposed plan. It's unbefitting and unbecoming of a presidential candidate uh, to spew out such rhetoric. His statements and his comments um, are not in, in line with the values of the United States. I have four children, and uh, you know they're all Americans. They're born here, raised here, um, and just by name you can tell that they might be Muslims. And uh, what he's doing is, he's, I think he's inciting the violence, he's, he's throwing the fuel on, on the fire. There might be hatred overseas um, against America, but definitely not here and definitely not in our mosque. Islamic Son of Northridge does not have, does not bear, does not Hold does not have any elements of hatredness towards the American public. Some of his Republican opponents disagreed strongly with Trump's statements. Ben Carson said everyone entering the country should be registered and monitored, but he said, I would not advocate being selective on one's religion. And John Kasich said Trump's idea was more of the outrageous divisiveness that characterizes his every breath. Well, Democratic presidential candidates also had plenty to say about this. Hillary Clinton called Trump's remarks reprehensible and prejudiced, and she said it makes us less safe. And another Democrat, Martin O'Malley, said Trump is campaigning as a fascist demagogue. So, Jeff, lots of strong language here tonight. 